Are you having trouble with your audio when using OBS and Zoom? I know I did, but after watching this short video, I'm now sounding like a pro. Oh, yeah. Over to you, voice from above. <laughs> Why, thank you, Padawan. Okay. So let's take a look at setting up your sound like a pro using OBS VB cables and Zoom. Now first of all you're going to need the VB audio software and this can be found at the website provided on the screen or within the links below. Now once you're there you want to look for the free VB virtual cable. Just the VB cable. This is available in both Windows and Mac. Once you've downloaded the VB cable, I want you to scroll down the screen and go ahead and look for VB cables A and B. Now for VB cables A and B, you will need to pay a small donation of approximately $5 and subscribe. But don't worry, they're not the kind of people that spam you with a load of nonsense and it's well worth the donation. So go ahead and download the VB audio software. VB cable and VB cables A and B. And also, you're going to need another download, but this next download is for your OBS studio and it's called Audio Monitor. And you can find that again at the website provided here on the screen or within the links below. Go ahead and download this Audio Monitor OBS Studio plugin. Install all three VB cables, that's VB cable, VB cable A, and VB cable B. And then install the audio monitor. Once you've done that, it's going to be very important, before we continue, to then go ahead and exit OBS, and then reopen it again. By this time, you'll be halfway on your way to having sound like a pro. So let's take a look now at how to activate your audio monitor in the OBS studio now that you've downloaded and installed it. First of all, come on over to Audio Mixer and right click next to it. In the pop-up box, you should find Audio Monitor if you've installed it correctly. When you click on it, it will normally pop up as a little dock or pop-out box like this. Go ahead, grab it and drop it into your OBS dock and make sure that it's nice and visible. OK, so adding your global audio devices, come over to Controls and click on Settings. Now in the Settings menu, go to Audio. Come on over to the Global Audio Devices. Let's look at Mic Auxiliary Audio. Here, you're going to want to choose your microphone. For me, it's the Chris microphone. Then Mic Auxiliary Audio 2. Let's go and choose your VB cable. Not VB cable A, not VB cable B, but the VB cable. Go ahead and select this. Then in the Mic Auxiliary Audio 3, I want you to select VB cable A. VB cable A. Now, come on down to where it said Advanced, Monitoring Device, and let's select VB cable B. That's VB cable B. Now, come on through and click apply. You'll know if it's working because the apply button often will remain at a different color to normal and the working wheel will start to appear. Now, this can take some time depending on the computer that you're using. Just be patient and give it a few moments. You'll know when it's done because the apply button will change. Then you can go ahead and give a click on the OK 
and if it starts to think again, give it a few more moments. And when it's finally complete, you'll notice that you'll have the sounds, the global devices there in your audio mixer. Excellent. So here we are, we have Mike Aux, Mike Aux 2, and Mike Aux 3. So what happens if you followed those previous instructions and found nothing appeared in your audio mixer? This can occasionally be the case with OBS, but it's okay because we have a solution. We're going to clear them by disabling all of the settings that we made previously. So just clicking on them and going to Disabled. Now don't worry about the monitoring device, just go and click Apply. Again, it may take a few moments to redo those settings and disable them. Then we're going to do one at a time. So let's go back to Mic Auxiliary Audio and choose your microphone. Click Apply. And just as before, please do be patient. Give it a few moments, let it work, let it do what it needs to do. And just as before, you'll know when it's done because the work will stop just like that. Just move the screen a little bit and it should then pop up into the audio mixer. Perfect. Now let's do audio 2. For this, remember, we want to choose the VB cable, just the VB cable, and again, hit apply. The VB cable is going to be your music from Stream Deck, from Spotify, from the browser, and it's going to bring it all into your OBS. Now once you've hit apply and uh, been patient for a moment or two, just like before, it'll game will pop up into the audio mixer. There we go. Now let's do the, fi the final one, Mic Auxiliary Audio 3, which is VB Cable A. Hit apply and VB Cable A is going to be everything coming from Zoom in this case into your OBS so you can hear everybody from Zoom and of course for recording and these kinds of things. Excellent. So there we go. Once you see all three of them in your audio mixer, click OK. And we're ready now to move on to the next step. So let's now take a look at renaming your global audio devices to make it easier for you to know which is which. So first of all, Mic Aux. If you come over, give it a right click and go to Rename. Now we want to keep Mic Aux for reference in our actual global settings that we've just set before. So just put a forward slash and add to it My Mic because this audio setting is for your microphone. When you're happy with that, click OK, and you'll see it's changed and added it here. This is the master volume for your mic, as it is for the other global channels. Now, Mic Aux 2. Let's click on it, rename, and uh, keep Mic Aux 2, forward slash, and this is your VB cable. Now remember your VB cable is for things such as music from Stream Deck or music from Spotify or, or this kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to put. VB cable, Stream Deck, music. And then we can click OK. All right. So now, finally, Mic Aux 3. Now, Mic Aux 3 is your, it's VB Cable A. This is your Zoom Audio In. So for simple sake and for ease, let's call it Zoom Audio In. Excellent. Now, we've simply renamed all of your global audio devices which makes it easier for you to follow along with and know what you're controlling at any given time.
So now that we've set up your global audio devices, uh, it's time to take a look at your microphone. Um, now obviously you don't want to be hearing yourself, so let's go into the little toggle next to your microphone and click on Advanced Audio Properties. Now because we've renamed it, you'll see it's easy to find. There's my mic here. We're going to go over to the right where it's Audio Monitoring. Now, you'll notice all of them are monitor off, and that's perfect. But what we need to do is change your microphone to monitor and output, and uncheck box one. You'll notice all the other boxes are still checked. We're just unchecking box one, just for my mic. Now go ahead and close it. Now, moving on to the next step. So now you've installed your audio monitor, let's go and take a look at uh, how to set up all the settings. The audio monitor enables you to send sound to certain places or wherever we need to send it. So it's very important. Click on the toggle and click meter output. Click back on the toggle and go to output slider. Now, don't worry about all those things there. You probably won't have those. It, they're things from my scene collections. So click on Only Active. Now you'll notice here in Only Active, these are your three global audio devices that we set up. There they are, the VB cable. You've got the Zoom Audio in and the uh, My Mic. So let's go back into the little toggle and... Uh, also, just make sure they're all selected, slider names as well. Now go to Outputs, Track 1, and The Show. Select The Show. When you select The Show, it'll bring this Track 1 in here. Um, let's go back to Outputs, Track 1. Now we're going to choose where we want to send it. Now we certainly want it to send it to VB Cable B because this is going to be, in essence, your microphone, and uh, it's going to send all of your sound, your microphone, your effects, all through to Zoom. So select VB Cable B. It will give you a slider for VB Cable B, and uh, that always wants to be predominantly uh, on the upper side rather than the lower, um, as that's what's going out to Zoom. All right. So now we need to ch uh, choose a monitoring device so we can hear what's going on. Now, um, you could choose your uh, speakers. In this case, it's my Samsung speaker there. You could choose your headphones if you, uh, if you want to use headphones during your performance or your show. Uh, but for now, I'm going to choose the speaker. You'll notice it brings another slider up. If we hover over it, it tells me it's for my speaker there. And this will control the volume of what I hear. It will not affect what anybody else is hearing. It will just be controlling the volume for what I hear. Now let's go and uh, also maybe we want to select some headphones. So uh, you can't see it right there, but I'm going to click on my headphones. Hover over it. There we are. That's my headphones. And an independent volume for my headphones too. So there we go. That's the setup for the audio monitor. Now, time to move on to the next step. So now let's take a quick look at your basic Zoom audio settings. So let's bring Zoom up onto the screen. And first of all, we're going to come to the little arrow next to the unmute. Give it a click. This will bring up a pop-up box for your microphone and speaker. Now, remember, I keep talking about cable B, in essence, is your microphone. And that's right. So you're going to select VB Audio Cable B for your microphone. This is all of your sound, sound effects, microphone, everything going from OBS then to Zoom. Now for a speaker, enabling you to hear them, you want to actually choose Cable Input VB Audio Cable A. So VB Cable A. This is going to ensure that you get to hear everything coming in from Zoom and you also have the capability of recording it too into your OBS for future demos. <music> so
So now let's take a look at how we can add a specific piece of music to a specific scene. Now, there are many ways in which you can do this. However, we're going to do this in the simplest way for now. So first of all, let's go and choose the scene that you would like the music to appear on when you enter that scene. Let's say it's this one. Now, let's go into the sources and we're going to choose a media source. I'm going to call this uh, media source um, scary. Let's call it scary. Scary music. Click OK. Now I'm going to go and browse for a piece of, uh, well, a piece of scary music. Now, of course, this could be a sound effect, an applause, a, a laughter, anything you like. But for now, I'm going to choose, uh, let's go into sound effects and audio, and let's choose, ah, we'll have this creepy one here, and open. Now, as soon as I click OK, you'll notice that the sound will begin to play. So let's take a look. There we are. OK. So um, you see it's got its own volume, its own channel in the audio mixer called Scary Music. And uh, this will control that volume for us. And we can set that to wherever we are comfortable. You'll also notice it brings a slider up which operates the same master volume in the audio monitor too. OK, so now we've added the music to the scene. Let's go now to another scene and see what happens. And there we have it, the music kind of just fades away. Now, if we wanted that to happen again, we just return to the scene and the music or the sound effect will automatically start playing once again. OK, so let's take a look now at how to play music directly from Stream Deck. So open up your Stream Deck. And the first thing we need to look for is the soundboard over to the right on the menu. Go ahead and get a Play Audio. Drag it into your Stream Deck and drop. Now, come over to File and let's go and click on the three little dots next to File. Here we have, uh, well, these are actually a load of free Stream Deck um, pieces of music, which are great. They have lots of music and sound effects. And if you want to know where they are, click on that little icon. It'll pop up a whole box of sound effects, music. You just download them, and they'll be there ready for you to find. Otherwise, you can go to your desktop, your music folder, and pick whatever sound effects or music you may already have. For now, we'll go with a dramatic twist. So it's already titled for us there. You can change the title if you wish. But actions, we can play stop, play overlap, play restart, and loop stop. We're going to leave it on play stop, and uh, we'll go fade in and out at about two seconds. Now, this is the master volume for that specific single track. As you know, music can be recorded at different levels, so you have the bonus of being able to choose its specific level. Now with PC, we can send the output to the VB cable right here from Stream Deck, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, unfortunately, for those of you on the Mac, this uh, ability isn't there. This output isn't there in Stream Deck. And what you'll have to do to make sure that you can play music through your VB cable is go to your soundboard on your Mac, go to Outputs, and select VB cable as your output. Okay, now if you want to then go back and use your Mac without OBS to watch something, or then just go back to the outputs in the soundboard and change it back to your MacBook Pro speaker or whatever it was originally. Okay, so with that said, let's test this out. So uh, we're going to now go and press that music button that we've just created on our physical stream deck and see what happens. Just watch the VB cable. We'll turn that down a little. 
little bit here. There we go. And you can see this is the VB cable, the stream deck, and the music's coming straight through. Now let's press it again and notice the music just fades away. So there you have it. That's how you can add music via Stream Deck. Now, for this last and final step in setting up your sound like a pro, in the past you may have added videos to your OBS, videos that have somebody speaking in them, therefore the lip sync has to be perfect. Now, you may have noticed that when you've done that everything was fine, but later on or further on in your performance that the lips were no longer in sync and it was very baffling. Well, I have a solution for that and we're going to show you how to do it now. So first of all, let's go and create a scene for our video. Um, I'll call it my video. Now this could be an introduction, it could be an um, instruction video, anything you like. Go to the sources and add a media source. Now call it video one. We'll okay that and let's now go and browse for, well, the video that you're looking for. Um, in this case, I'm going to go, let's go with this one, through the TV. Hmm, interesting. Let's make it uh, the full size of the screen. You'll notice a sound bar has uh -huh. already come up. Huh? Just turn that down uh -huh. for a moment. A sound bar has already come up that says video one. Uh -huh. And so far, everything does look fine. Uh, things yeah. look in sync. Um, but like I said, uh -huh. this could change. Welcome to the show. So, to ensure that it remains in sync, we need to set it up like we did the microphone. Now, I'm just going to mute this for a moment while we do that. Let's go to the settings in the video that we've just created, Advanced Audio Properties. We see where it is because we titled it. Come over to the right, Audio Monitoring, and we're going to change it like the microphone to Monitor and Output. And we're going to turn off Track 1. Now, Currently with these settings, this means that you won't be able to hear it, but everybody on Zoom will. Now, of course, that might not be useful for you, where it is for the microphone. You don't want to hear the microphone, but you do or probably do want to hear your introductions and videos and things like that. So let's go back to the video, right click on the video in the sources and go to filters. In the top half of the filters, I want you to plus and add an audio monitor. Click OK and send it to your speakers or your headphones wherever it is that you want to hear it from. And then go ahead and close that box. Now by doing that you'll notice that it gives you another uh, another meter. So the first bar, this one that I muted before, this bar is what's going out to zoom in this case. So we set that at the appropriate level. And this one here now is what's going to your monitor, your speaker or your headphones. And again, you can set that to whatever level you like and it will not affect them that are watching the show. So with that said, um, that is pretty much everything you need to know. Let's take a look at the video again now and make sure it's all working the way it should be. Welcome to the show. So there we have it. You're now ready to have sound like a pro with OBS and VB cables. Congratulations.